extraordinary, isn't it, Paul, that uh, these uh, matters slipped through all the vetting procedures uh, and numerous reports, of course, about his behaviour. And Suella Braben in this past half hour in the Commons indicating that really it's just not good enough. Yeah, absolutely. And, and if we go back to the summer of 2021, following the murder of Sarah Everard, the Met Police at the time was saying, look, we, we can, saying to the women in the capital, we can protect you. We understand that Wayne Cousins, who murdered Sarah Everard, was one of our own, but we will double down on making sure we root out these kind of people. And at the same time, the Met Police have admitted that their own professional standards uh, uh, department failed to look into the background of David Carrick, who was a serving police officer and was facing an allegation of rape. Now, that allegation was withdrawn, but another woman made another allegation of rape. He was subsequently charged, and then the whole case unravelled. And so the problem is that the Met Police, they can say that we're doubling down and we're, we, we, we are committed, you can trust us, to protecting women. But then that's happening while they're saying it. And so that is why we're looking at uh, far more fundamental reform of the police. And that is why Suella Braverman, the Home Secretary, said this in the Commons in the past half an hour. Thousands of decent, hard-working police officers perform their duties with the utmost professionalism. They feel pride in putting on their uniform and want only the best for the communities that they serve. I know that they will share our collective disgust that a fellow officer could be responsible for such a despicable betrayal of everything that they stand for. Much of the impetus for change must come from within policing, but this government will continue leading from the front. As I've been clear, we are bringing forward part two of the Angelini inquiry to make recommendations on how forces can improve culture and tackle the root causes of police criminality and misconduct. So part two of the uh, Dame Angelini inquiry into the red flags that were missed over Wayne Cousins has been brought forward. But the Home Secretary didn't indicate whether uh, an inquiry into David Carrick would be brought under that umbrella, whether that inquiry by Dame Angelini would be extended or whether there would be a separate public inquiry into how David Carrick uh, e evaded uh, kind of police detection, if you will. Uh, and that's something that Baroness Casey has recommended. She's looking into the standards and culture within the Met. And she's due to report in March. And actually, just something very quickly, Mark, that uh, Mark Rowley, uh, the Met Police Chief, has said this morning. He's hinted at radical, powerful change, saying the force's leadership, culture and practices are all up for grabs as he awaits the outcome of that report by Baroness Casey in March, which he expects to agree with. And he was also asked, just finally, he was asked, is it time to reconfigure the Met Police, similar to the way the Royal Ulster Constabulary became the police service for Northern Ireland? And he did not dismiss the idea. OK, and, and uh, Yvette Cooper, the Shadow Home Secretary, of course, observing there in the Commons uh, that past half hour, still no legal requirements on how the vetting procedures take place, which uh, some people may find absolutely extraordinary. But, Paul, thank you very much for updating us. More uh, reaction, of course, as we get it.